it's XCOM 2 once again. Hello, I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. And if you're not, then I hope you have a w happy, wonderful evening. Um, starting off, I wanted to just draw some attention to this photograph from the retaliation run that we had last time. Of particular note is the fact that Hooker has taken center stage in the photo from the mission and Huckett spent the entire mission unconscious on the floor. So I'm pretty pleased with how this photo has come out. Uh, Grim and Griffith are just flat, basically. You can't, they're there, just barely behind Huckett, but yeah. Huckett is like, yeah, I might have been unconscious for the entire thing, barely did anything, but I was the star of the show, actually. And uh, that made me smile. And I'm all about things that make me smile. We are, we are, we are, we are looking interesting to say the least we finally finished our radio tower in brazil after what felt like ten thousand years we have started making contact with west africa which kind of feels like twenty thousand years since that idea was first pro proposed uh we're currently waiting for a over infiltrate on a infiltration mission which isn't too far off uh, we finally got access to Illyrian power integration, which gave us a nice plus one on both our health pools from Predator Armor and on the damage that our uh, magnetic weapons deal. We got and built some cool experimental armor, and we already put that to really good work in the retaliation mission. Um, Kalani was able to take way more hits than they otherwise would have been able to, simply because their armor was healing them. Griffith, I think, ran through some fire and didn't care about it. You know, it was certainly made me feel quite justified in purchasing that stuff. Uh, we got black ice rounds. However, we do need to complete a proving ground project for those. And I want to quickly take a look at that very briefly. So it's only going to take three days and 75 supplies. Um, so I think we'll... Will we, though? We've got experimental ammo in four days' time. I kind of feel like we do queue these up. Now that I'm actually looking at it. Oh, 75 supplies is a stupid amount. Might hold off on that for just a bit. Yet. Uh, yeah, I was excited about the black eyes, but actually 75 supplies, though? Come on. Um, what else? What else? Our monthly report was scathing, to say the least. Uh, and one thing of note that we probably need to be mindful of throughout this next month is the fact that the assassin at any time could launch an attack on the Avenger. Um, so that's fun. We've also got a dark event that we'd really want to counter, if at all possible. Which is... Thank you, another scientist. Because, you know, need those. Don't need engineers, no sir. Uh, signal jamming. That's what I'm going to put all of our dark event countering focus onto this month. If we can get Vigilance and the Hidden Event, that would be cool. But if ever we have to deal with a choice between these, it's signal jamming. Because I've got no time for increased scanning times. Given the fact that, you know, aforementioned Brazil Radio Tower and West Africa, 10,000 years, that whole thing. We have got some supplies to finish collecting. And, yeah, the infiltration mission is currently at 156 of 250 over infiltration. There were some new cover actions as a result of the month rolling over. Stop Exalt project sounds like it would be fantastic. Stop Exalt from completing a project to upgrade themselves. Unfortunately, we don't actually have the faction influence in order to take this mission. Uh, we won't be able to increase the influence with the skirmishers until we find the third and final chosen unfortunately um so i guess exalt are just going to get an upgrade not that they were dangerous already or anything no sir there are a few covert actions here that do kind of look appealing certainly the recover experimental item does a free promotion wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing uh and honestly 90 supplies on the surface looks good going to cost us an engineer we'll pass um it's not going to cost us an engineer it's just going to mean that this engineer is out of doing useful stuff on the avenger for the duration of the mission so 
Night Supplies does sound wonderful, but uh, yeah, it's just <laughs> we can't afford the engineer. So, for now, beyond all of that, I want to finish scanning for this supply drop, so we'll just get that rolling. I want to make a visit to the black market to see if we can get a bit more... Uh, what's the word I was looking for? Money. And then we're in the don't know what's going to happen next kind of situation. We have just finished Flame Viper Autopsy, which should unlock, yes it does, Inferno Rounds. Um, which I think are a upgraded variant of the Dragon Rounds, I could be mistaken on that. And the Flame Scale Vest, which is kind of like, I wonder if the survivability bonuses, e.g. Ha does it have armor or a bigger health bonus than the hazmat suit. I'd hope so because you're dropping acid and uh, radiation protection and only gaining fire. So I, I don't know how that works out. I've not actually seen that before. We have got maybe one or two other autopsies. That wouldn't be a bad thing before we start on the plasma rifle. And now that I've said the words, I'm kind of going, maybe we don't actually. <laughs> uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of the overdrive serum that we would get from the Berserker autopsy. Uh, so we'll hold off on that. Um, we wouldn't be able to make use of the plasma lance from the Spectre until we unlock the plasma rifle research. And not too sure that we are in a position to spend that nine days anyway for refraction field and arc blaster. Faceless, I think I've already talked about how the mimic beacon is super useful in base game XCOM 2. It's less useful to us here. And as well as that, there is a little bit of a I don't really like using it kind of thing with that. So get a leap faceless. Concussion grenade, grenade and destroyer vest do sound interesting. Uh, I think the Concussion Grenade is just a sort of mag grenade with a bigger area of effect and no damage, but does provide guaranteed disorientation, things like that. Kind of curious what the Destroyer Vest is as well, but still not convinced that that four days is going to be well spent. Um, the Priest, because of the fact that we still have not actually unlocked Psionic Sex Machina, Advanced Psionic Study, just, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, the sustaining sphere would potentially be nice, but I'd prefer to keep equipment slots for other stuff that can help us kill things. You know, best defense is a good offense and all that. Um, turret breakdown is going to come into play eventually, because whilst I don't think we're going to build a defense matrix, the storm gun will be something that we want. So... Given the fact that income is just not going to allow us to get psionics off the ground. And 25 days for powered armor versus 21 days for the plasma rifle technology. I actually think it's time to get to tier 3 weapons. So that's research taken care of for the next three weeks. Back to the old scanneroo. Finish this supply drop. Yep, there we go. Thank you you and then we'll swing by the black market Avengers and see if we can uh, sell anything that we've got here for a little bit of extra cash hopefully get ourselves up to maybe 300 if we're feeling particularly cute uh, we could actually sell the basic wildcat cartridges here because uh, we're not using those anymore we've got advanced wildcats enough we've got enough to go around anyway soul fire is actually not a bad sell either because probably going to be taking let me find it right quick. Actually, I didn't look at what Amor Fati does. Uh, all damage an ally takes by 50%, but makes them easier to hit itself. <laughs> um, what was I looking for? Yes, we've got two Null Lancers here. I think we sell one of those and keep the other one in stock. But yeah, I reckon taking the 58 for Soulfire is a reasonable choice because ultimately uh, we are probably going to be running fireball on the lance as opposed to so fire going forward just because uh, fireball and lance do that much more damage 
We could sell a bunch of Stun Lancer courses. I think I still want to keep 12 on deck because I don't trust that they're not useful or anything. Although, the more I think about it, the stupider that sounds. I don't know. Another 30 supplies. Oh, just get rid of them. Get rid of them. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We see Stun Lancers all the time. And they never saw a Stun Lancer again. Uh, Advent Trooper corpses are useful for the exosuit and nanoscale vests. So nanoscale vests are kind of... Um, we're past them a little bit now, so I think we can probably get away with selling maybe 30 of these. Keep 10 around just for, you know, in fact, no, we'll keep 12 around to potentially get, like, an exosuit if we were feeling cute about it. I want to keep the nanoscale vests around just for infiltration missions in particular. We There will still be room to use these, I feel. Uh, we can probably get rid of these basic bipods. Between the bedded stock and the lightweight frame, these both take up the same, like, upgrade slot on a weapon, if you like. Uh, I would prefer 20 supplies and lightweight frames over bedded stocks, I think. We can sell these advanced trooper corpses. We'll keep hold of these expanded magazines. I guess we sell two. Uh, we don't need the shield bearer corpses. Hey, we are coming out of this really well. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll keep psionic conduit. Keep stasis. I can't remember if we've got an advanced suppressor now. Because the only, like, gun I'd want to use... I guess we'll just sell two of them. And uh, keep one around just in case. Sure, why not? Uh, PCS4, Sonic Atrophy. Damage taken from all other sources. Incre yeah, we sell that. Uh, increases Psy Offense, which is lovely. And grants immunity to psionic damage and mental effects. But means that guns hurt more. Um, I'm not into that at all. I think the Psy Offense and the Will Bonus, if we even get around to using this on someone that could make use of it, uh, it ain't worth being shot being more dangerous, in my humble opinion. Uh, we'll keep the Advanced Fuel Line. I would love to get another Spark at some point, eventually. Uh, I don't want to keep Soul Murder around just because I don't like the idea of like two units being murdered. Uh, we've already sold one no lance. We'll keep the other one for sure. And want to keep an inspire. Uh, so yeah, we've got a few more corpses that we can sell here. Wow, I didn't realise we were sitting on this many supplies. Actually, what have I been doing with my life? Think of all of the easy time we could have had if only we'd just sold stuff. I'm of, I'm kind of. At a point as well, actually, where we can sell these sort of basic exalt mag weapons because our own weapons are benefiting from um, Illyrian power integration, whereas the exalt weapons are not. So, you know, like, we should be able to field magnetic weapons across the board, especially given the fact that we are suddenly rich. Um, Zealot gauntlets, yes, we use Tempest gauntlets, we don't use those. And I think that's it. So, 700 supplies after a proper clean-out of our inventory. And an assault mission coming up here as well. Um, yeah. Okay, what's this assault mission going to achieve for us? Just before we actually see about spending some of these supplies. Vigilance would get countered, which is the increased area of uh, detection, right? Yeah. Uh... We've got 14 hours to make that decision, which is, you know, we have to decide now, basically. I think what we'll do is... Commander, construction of this shadow chamber should allow us to better... Thank you, Shen. We are going to put a workshop in place. Um, now, yes, we're going to go for it. 300 supplies Commander, in the bag. We'll keep the 600 supplies the here just for the time there, being. Which means we can't expand um, I'll let the experimental ammo roll and then see what we want to do regarding the proving ground there after that. Um, I don't want to go on too big a spending spree because when we unlock plasma rifles, that's probably going to be some additional costs that we all of a sudden want to really want to be picking up if we can. Uh, I do wonder if dropping... Okay, we don't have the power for it, so disregard that. Maybe we... We could upgrade 
the power here. What's that going to cost then? So 150 supplies to upgrade there, and it would cost so 100, 275 supplies to get those two upgrades in place. Hmm. Freeing up this engineer to get a faster workshop. And then the workshop is able to staff resistance comms and the infirmary freeing up more. Yeah, I think actually, if we're to spend supplies, these are, this is the place to do it for now. So we'll get Illyrium we conduits. Upgrade. We'll upgrade resistance, resistance comms. We drop this engineer. And then we get you in the workshop. There we go. 16 days is way better than the 32 that it previously was. So, I think we run this mission. Um, conscious that the Avenger could be attacked. And we've got 30, 10 wounded. But, uh, yeah. I would like to counter this dark event if we can. Robotic enemies at the mission site. Okay. Uh... That means that we are going to want to stock up on EMPs, bombs, and uh, put those blue screen rounds to work as well. So let's see who we could field. Surprisingly, Huckett is ready to go. Um, and I think it's only fair that we actually let Huckett do something because they weren't able to on the last mission. So we'll bring Hooks. Uh, we will bring... It's a shame that uh, Goonstone's not ready. Where is Goonstone? Three, three days, slightly wounded. That's fine. We'll probably field the Spark and Goonstone on the next mission that we run then. Um, so I guess beyond that, still no field medic. Both of our field medics are uh, currently on covert ops. And we did lose Spacey not too long ago. Hmm... Let's get apprehension in the mix. Uh, let's. I'm just looking at our assault infantry situation, and I'm of a mind to bring Reed on this one actually because Reed is the. Yeah, Reed has prep for entry, so we could probably throw a uh, EMP beat bomb on Reed there to reasonable effect. Um, who else we got available? Combat Engineer we've got with Huckett. Uh, we'll get a Phalanx, because if we haven't got a healer, then I need someone that can take hits. I think... Let's bring uh, Zentrisa out on this one. Um, it's been a little while since they've been out, and... I think, actually, a Marksman could probably do some work here, too. What... What's the, uh, where are we? We're in a small town. Yeah, okay, we'll bring a marksman. Um, with those AP rounds. And then I guess we probably should unequip the barracks. And see what we can see in terms of gear that we've got available to us. So then. The Exalt Long Lance is 6 to 8. Versus if we were to spend it. 36 supplies. Uh, yeah, we'll buy a single gorse. Just because the uh, we can sell that long lance, actually. Probably should have sold it last time. We were at the black market, c'est la vie. Um, you want a spider suit for sure. And then... Beyond that, uh, we'll roll Shadow Keeper as usual on the Phalanx, Mag Cannon, Orc Shotgun on Reed. Got the Cal 15, Ionic Ripjack. So everyone's in appropriate armor and has appropriate weaponry. Uh, the last thing that we need then, last two things I should say, are going to be our weapon upgrades and uh, then our gear. So we know that um, we'll run the expand. Oh, wrong, wrong magazine. There we go. Expanded magazine, please and thank you. You're going to want a speed loader for sure, and I think we'll run the experimental magazine on uh, pacify here. Actually, with those AP rounds. 
Uh, we got blue screens on hooks. Is that the right place for them? I think so. I could have sworn we had another EMP bomb. I guess we've taken it somewhere else, huh? Not to worry. Uh, that's not what we want. We just want a plasma grenade. Cheers. Uh, or do we want... Yeah, in fact, what am I saying? What am I saying? The ultrasonic lure is the right colour, but wrong item. Frost bomb. Frost bomb, mag grenades. The staple of our sappers, it feels like. Um, one EMP from reeds. Blue screens on hooks. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if the blue screens would actually be better served on pacify. Um, so we'll roll the dragon rounds on... Although now that I say that out loud, like if we're dealing with mostly robotic enemies, then we're not really going to see much use for setting things on fire, right? And then we have got a uh, better armor available so to that end let's give uh, Sinatra an extra point of armor uh, stasis vest for Zentresa, stasis vest for Huckett we'll give Reed extra armor and apprehension hazmats and uh, I guess we'll just throw the other hazmat on pacify there and I think this could be us any AP that's worth spending potentially on pacify actually no, not yet. I believe it's the lieutenant uh, marksman that really starts taking things to a whole new level for getting additional abilities on, on the go. Sentry uh, says weapon does still need upgrading. I say upgrading, it's a... Uh, it's not an upgrade at all. It's... I can't think of what it is. Mods! Weapon mods! <laughs> there we go. Oh, I know what this game is. I've played it many times. Uh, I'm kind of wondering how to put Centrusa together here, actually. Because on the one hand, there is the basic scope for that long range ac accuracy. Um, or short range accuracy. Or reaction accuracy. Question, I said, oh, wrong button, I am terrible. Let's get back into that, please and thanks. The question is, I suppose, uh, fire support. Does come with an additional aim bonus anyway. And once sentries are years out of grenades, covering fire is actually probably worth a pick up now that I'm looking at this a bit further. Uh, you know what, yeah, just grab that, because covering fire suppression. Okay, that, that kind of seals the deal, then. We're going to roll the... Um, roll the advanced reflex, and we'll probably just need Zentresa to be a little bit more in the thick of it, and probably going to roll expanded magazine, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So many decisions to make. Operation Poxmaster. To recover an item from an advent vehicle, we've got Apprehension, Reed, Huckett, Sinatra, Centresa, and Pacify to do the work. And I'm sure it will all be a super positive experience and these guys will have a really good time down there. We're off to Canada again, of course. Specifically the northeast of Canada. But is it going to be Moncton? Is it going to be Labrador? Is it going to be somewhere that we haven't seen before? These are the real questions that we need answers to. And that answer is about to appear on our screens. It's Labrador. Well, it's not Labrador. Okay, fine. It's the outskirts of Labrador. Specifically, a small town in Advent Patrol Zone 15. Looks like we've got a lot of trees, although maybe that was just, you know, the edge of the map and 
it is just going to be a small town like it suggested it was. I already really like the look of this rooftop for pacify purposes. I'm wondering if it's going to be the case that we set pacify up just on this corner for this sort of sightline, or if we can bring pacify a bit closer. Uh, I think, given that we've got the spider suit, we'll just get straight up here and see what we can see. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, big fan of there not being anything. I'm wondering, I guess we'll bring everyone up onto the roof via this drain pipe. And seeing as this is the edge of the map, uh, I doubt that passerby is going to be taking many shots from this angle. So then, yeah, we'll Closing set passerby up just here for now. now. Got a group of hostiles over here. And we've got a codex and a advanced security bit. What do you do? Advanced repair, six HP, and two armor. So that thing, once it's active, we'll just start chucking armor on all everything. So we actually need to get rid of it. Uh, can mark and can search. Okay, fine. So it's a security bit that just makes everything else around it a massive pain in the backside. I must run. So we'll just bring everyone as close as we can then. I'm all over it. On the move. Ready. And in the interest of just getting that little bit closer, do I uh, no, Running. we don't. It's, it feels so strange. Like, this is effectively the same insofar as where the enemies are in relation to Zentry, so it's just putting Zentry's out in the open. I don't know. It just feels better to have people in cover at all times, even if that cover is completely ineffective. We've got another Codex and Stun Lancer. I didn't actually catch what the third enemy there was. I want to say it was a security bit again, though. Um, at present, if we were to open up on one of these groups, the other one is going to come after us. So that's two codexes to deal with at once, which isn't my idea of a good time. Irrespective of anything else, we aren't actually going to set up this turn, uh, open up this turn. We're just going to set up a little bit further. Oh, it was a mech. Okay, cool. Mech, Stun Lancer, Codex, Codex, Bit. Fine. So then how close can we get? And... Are they potentially going to come onto this roof? So, in that scenario, we'd probably want to set up overwatches just to be on the safe side. I don't love the idea of putting everyone in a nice line here for that mech to just go to town on. But, um, in the interest of just having overwatches, I think we can afford to do it and then split up on the next turn sure this will not come back to bite us in the ass. Moving overwatch. It is under my watch. Eyes on the prize. Scanning. If it does, then I accept all Can I, I told you so's in writing. Affirmative. Covering now. I don't read them. I accept them, but I don't read them. Yeah, we got mechs all over the place here. That's two mechs, two codexes. Stun Lancer Shield Bearer. Okay, cool. They are actually doing what I was hoping for. Although, if, from the looks of this, we're probably just going to have to have a big fight on our hands. I actually think this EMP bomb looks pretty good as an opening gambit. Um, what kind of range can you get on it with prep for entry? So that's your maximum range. So I guess we... I think Reed should be able to hit that if we positioned Reed here. Although, mm, I'm not too convinced, actually, now that I say it out loud. What value is prep for entry going to give? It makes the grenade throw free. And then Reed would actually have a running gun available to take as well. I think, yeah, we'll prep for entry. And we'll come back to that. We are going to run. That was just the worst decision I could possibly have made, actually. 
going to have to do some running. <laughs> wow. Okay, there goes our opening. That was terrible. And uh, if I've learned anything, it's that prep for entry is not my idea of a good time. Right then. Maybe we don't open. Maybe that's just completely scuffed any opening that we otherwise would have had. Maybe instead we just carry on with a little bit more positioning. Uh, which, now that I say it out loud, is probably the sensible choice under the circumstances we find ourselves. So maybe we bring... I don't know if we want to keep hooks on high ground or bring them down, I guess. Given the fact that they have the blue screen rounds... Yeah, now that I've moved hooks over here, I realize that we probably want this sight line available to hooks. However, this does free up a bit more movement for uh, the remaining team members. Zentrisa doesn't have Salvo yet, so we don't have to think about that, which is, whilst having Salvo is wonderful, and uh, not having to worry too much about it, at least right now, is pretty good. So we'll move Zentrisa forward. You're chilling, Pacify. Uh... Sinatra can probably... Okay, Apprehension could move here. I'm wondering if we bring Sinatra down here. Just to get them that bit more ready to go. Because... If I wanted to get Sinatra in a position to take some shots, then... At least from here, we could potentially by this car up. I think Sinatra should be able to make the run from here to this cover. Um, so yeah, you know what, let's bring Sinatra down. And kind of feeling like apprehension could be better utilized somewhere else as well. I'm not too sure where that is. Maybe actually we bring apprehension to such a place that they can kind of make use of this. How many enemies are actually here right now? There's two, four, seven. Okay. So we can assume from that that there's probably going to be more enemies kicking about somewhere. So maybe moving apprehension up there is not a good idea. We focus on the sight line we've got right now. Let's just hold position, actually. Like apprehension's got the movement to be able to kind of get to wherever we need them. Uh, we wanted hooks back there. Overwatch. And we'll just overwatch. Scanning. One more time. On overwatch. And see what happens. I can't believe I just completely balked that with that prep for entry nonsense. In my defense, I haven't really used that ability much. And maybe this actually works out, because if they're moving away from us... Hmm. No. You know what? Let's just get this party started. I don't love that positioning for hooks. Um, as these two move down this way, pacified position becomes more and more under threat. So, yeah, let's open up with the EMP bomb and then see what happens thereafter and make decisions on where everyone else goes based on that. So, fuck her up. There's the clone. Okay, that might be a job for apprehension. There was an additional advanced trooper hiding behind the truck there. Oh, that mech's put itself right ready for Sinatra's breakfast. Um... Okay. So I think Apprehension tries to deal with this codex. Um, 
And by tries to, I mean they do. So that's one. That codex... Actually, where are you, Zentry, sir? I don't know whether or not we want to get the split on this codex and potentially blow this car. Or do we want to... What kind of shot does Hux have on that codex, I guess, is the real question here. Presently doesn't have one. Oh, well, yeah, you don't. So we would have to move Hux up. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. Maybe this is a better position for Hux. It would be a worse shot, but a better position. Now that I think about it even further... Hux also has Phosphorus. Hmm. I think we do bring Hux down because I'd rather them not take any flanking shots if we can avoid them. And then... Okay, we can't land that flamethrower, so that's that taken care of then. 37% pretty terrible. Maybe we suppress that Codex. Uh, Sinatra... You've got a mech here, right up in your business. Why don't you uh, get to work on that? Hard target. Minimal damage. And again. You. Not too shabby. This shield bearer is going to probably be where Pacify wants to send some bullets. Although, yeah, that's just got one health point, actually. Um, evidently, Pacify doesn't have a shot on the shield bearer. Which is interesting. We could use Sinatra to potentially give Pacify a shot on it by just knocking it back here. 77% chance for knockback is reasonable, and we can push Sinatra up. We've got the knockback in place. That's awesome. It is now stunned and disoriented, however, so, you know, it can't exactly get very far. That's as far as it can go. I wonder what the range is on um, energy shield. Because is it realistic that the shield bearer can get an energy shield off on these lot down here from where it currently is under disorientation? I'm not sure the stun is going to stick. Hmm. So then maybe we do go for this. This security bit can add armor to these codexes. Okay. Here's what we do. We'll send the mag grenade from Zentresa. That's going to cause the codex to split up. If the codex splits up, Pacify can take out this codex for sure. Apprehension can take out that codex for sure. At least I'm prety certain. Because uh, the plan with Apprehension is basically to grapple up here and then just melee this. In fact, we might as well just do that now whilst I'm trying to figure out what, what to do everywhere else. Um... So, in fact, we might even be able to just get a nice blanking shot to build some heat up for apprehension, which would be even better. 97%, go for it. Nailed it. Dodged it as well, but hey. We're, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. That worked out exactly as we wanted it to. So, do I want this codex to split? Is the question because we can deal with it next turn which would mean only dealing with one codex rather than you know two and I've got a feeling we're gonna see a psionic bomb from it so really the question is what's the best target for the psionic bomb and it's probably Zentrisa, Hogan and Reed right they're, they're kind of like all three close together Sinatra's off here. Or do we frost bomb? Maybe we frost bomb this codex. If 
we frost bomb that codex. Feels like a bit of a wasted shot from Pacify on this one hit point dude back here, but equally like it will just get rid of it. Um I don't necessarily see Hooker confirming a kill with the flamethrower on the stun lancer, but we could potentially set on fire. The alternative would be to suppress it. Uh kind of damage you doing there? Okay, I think we will go for the flamethrower then. Yeah, we're going to flamethrower this, frost bomb that, and just get rid of that. Okay, done. The burn could still see a kill on that stun lancer. We'll guess we'll find out. I suppose there's a bit of a safety measure. We could mine up here, but nah, reads in the way. We'll leave the mine for now. Uh, okay, so frost bomb on you. And then you just take care of that business for us, pacify. I think confirming some kills with pacify is probably a good idea. See if we can uh, get towards a rank increase. Stun Lancer did go down, which is brilliant. And the assassin has come to play. Okay. That's fine. Uh, she's probably going to try and summon some uh, Savage allies. Um, but... We can manage three attacks in a single turn. I think we probably want to try and uh, get the get things set up in such a way that Pacify lands the final hit. Or the sort of bewildered hit, I guess, is the correct term. It's kind of uh, impressive that that was still a 50-50 on apprehension, to be sure. Our shield better has managed it on themselves, but on nothing else, which is terrific news. Reed's got probably kind of feel like we maybe send Reed in for a kill on this advanced trooper. Hux wants to get right up close and personal with that codex if at all possible um, and Sinatra could probably just yeah we can just pepper this guy keep this one busy in fact you might even be able to yeah you should kill this now so that's that dealt with Sinatra's having a great time with the shield bearer and mech over there um, what kind of work would a mag grenade do on these two? I'd, we have got two in the chamber. Don't know if we want to spend the mag grenade just yet. There's also this 100% shot there, 95% shot back there. And we have got apprehension as well, actually. So apprehension can get a flanking shot on the codex. Okay, I think this is what we do then. Bring apprehension here. Score that flank. It shouldn't clone because it's frozen. Reed can then either confirm the kill on the codex, which I think is probably what was going to happen. Uh, we'll take the 95 on the advanced trooper. Outstanding. I wasn't expecting a kill, but I'll absolutely take it. And then, did this car explode already? Kind of looks like it has, right? No, I don't... Oh, wait. Is it primed to explode is probably the better question. Uh, maybe we don't risk... Uh, Reed. For that. So we'll pull hooks out here. Should have a... Okay, 60% is not the worst shot in the world, I guess. Doesn't have it. Of course not. I'll be asking too much. In which case, I, I'm, I don't want to use... I don't want to get read by that card. Maybe we just burn the run and gun here. Seems like such a waste. Um, the read doesn't have, like, breakthrough and stuff. 
to like get in with the sword and then reposition. And because the chosen's in the mix now, I can't really just by just having Reed here. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to run and gun this. Safety first and all that. Uh, do we want? I'm kind of concerned that there's some surprises around here, but. Well, yeah, if there's anything here, then Reed's potentially going to activate it. But uh, I, I guess we're just going to have to run that risk. Okay, there was nothing. Cool. And then Zentrisa can probably just... I don't know, can you just get rid of this bit, maybe? They're pretty gnarly to hit, and I think it might actually be in the smoke here. 72. Still up. Yeah, no go. Just shot a hut in the roof. Good thing we moved Reed, huh? Oh, she's right on us, actually. I'm going for apprehension, no less. That daze isn't the greatest thing that could have happened, actually. Because, uh... Yeah, that daze is a bit scary. Fortunately, she's moved. And that car did go boom. Right, so... Reed would just be kind of hanging out here. So I guess the actual question is, can we just kill the Chosen? She went... here. So, what we want to do is blow that wall, if Zendrisa can. This car's now safe, although I'm kind of thinking, do we want to use the roof again? Roof or corner, roof or corner. Gonna go roof. Gonna go roof. Probably the safer position, longer term, for Zentrisa to be in. Reed's got to run to save apprehension if we can't secure a kill. Uh, so here goes nothing. I don't think we can secure a kill because uh, Sinatra's a bit out of the way. Pacify won't have a shot. Hooker can get in reasonably close and collect the loot, which is, you know, the more important bit because uh, Illyrium cores means more stuff. 69% or do we set her on fire? Uh, I think we set her on fire. Yeah, there's no chance we get 31 damage out of here. Um, Given, you know, where everyone is. I'll we'll grab this loot. It's not my favourite that... Um, Reed's going to be sort of completely out of cover by rescuing Apprehension. But uh, Reed potentially taking a flanking shot is better than apprehension being captured, for sure. Got it covered. Get back in there. Not really sure what we do with Pacify. There's an argument to be made for repositioning. Um, maybe even up onto this roof now. Right, let's do that. And specifically, we'll get you kind of... I think he is probably going to be... Yeah, we'll get you here, because if we need to re reposition to this side, then now uh, that's just going to be one move rather than two. So you can get up, and I guess we'll brace. Uh, it's a shame that apprehension is not going to be able to achieve much up here 
Maybe we just get... Mm, that's not even cover now. That's annoying. Um, I guess we'll just run apprehension back here for the time being. That's kind of putting us in potential harbour wave territory for at least two targets, I think. Okay, she's going for a summon. That's uh, a faceless we can manage for sure. And it's more loot. Lovely, lovely loot. Kind of wish we'd uh, had another go in the uh, flamethrower. That was a jump. And a horrible crit on pacify. God, no, that's really bad. You're not supposed to be this threatening. I mean, it's fine that you are, but you're not supposed to be. Good grief. So naturally we need to just get closer. Uh, I'm wondering... Uh, that's not going to quite manage what we need, is it? I wonder if we bring Zentresa forward a touch, we can land the mag grenades that we need here. We can. Okay. Now that's the faceless down back on the ground. Uh, the assassin actually didn't get knocked down because uh, the mag grenade knocked her back to relative safety. 26 damage. Where do we find 26 damage? Well, I guess Hux is going to be dealing with the faceless. Uh... If apprehension, we're going to have to just risk uh, attracting more enemies here, I think. Oh, that's not my favorite. I wonder if we just go for rocket launcher then. If we rocket launch, it will break the floor open. Which should still mean Passerby has an open shot. Because she'll fall down here. And I think Passerby should be able to see it. If not, we'll have to just cross that road when we get to it. There goes the roof. Okay, she's just flat out. Not visible now. That's not the greatest thing. Uh, huh. I guess she's fallen in this bit of shadow. I wonder if we can move Reed up to get sight on her again. No. Interesting. Okay. What about hooks? On my way. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, there she is. No shot from Pacify is problematic for sure. Can we overwatch on this one? We can, but I don't love it because... If she jumps back up here, she's got an open shot on apprehension now. Um, 69's risky. We can we can handle the faceless coming after us for a turn, I think. Where is Sinatra? <laughs> Poor Sinatra. Did all that work with the mech and the shield bearer and has just been... Off in Narnia since. I guess... I don't know whether or not we want to go for a suppression or just a straight 69% shot with Hucket here. I think we'll go for the shot. And if it lands, we can kill her. So we're kind of counting on this a little bit. And it does land. Amazing. Okay. Then... She isn't immune to melee, right? Yeah, she's not immune to melee. It's fine. Can she counter? I don't think she can counter. Can you counter? Uh, no. So, 84% chance for this to be dealt with. Uh, I guess show us some sweet moves here, Reed. Nailed it. Okay. 
Pacify does have a clean shot on the uh, faceless as well. We have got reinforcements coming. We've proven the chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. Sweet. Getting that down is excellent. Uh, reinforcements land that we can just we should be able to manage whatever's gonna be in here. Hunter, purifier and officer, okay. The woods. The woods. We're not out of the woods. That hunter on high ground is going to be a nuisance. For sure. Kind of wonder if... Actually, the hunter's dropped. And I think Pacify might have a sight line on it. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Pacify does need a reload. Uh, but we've got three reloads, so that's chilling. And then let's see what you can do here. 99% on the hunter. Send it home. Genuinely expected that to be the 1% shot that misses. Uh, I quite like the 82s on the Purifier, actually. And this is a safe kill if Apprehension could land it. Nice. And then do we then maybe Justice? What happens if we Justice? Well... Nothing good, actually. We would... Justice the officer into a advantageous situation. So let's not justice. Um, instead, I'm going. Instead, officer could grenade. Um, Kind of annoying that we don't have a blue move available for this loot, but uh, it's got another turn on. We'll bring Reed here. Uh, we're going to suppress it with Hooker unless we can land a kill, which is very unlikely. Um, Zentrisa can also suppress it, so I guess we'll just roll the coin flip on our pension. Fair enough. Maybe we should have destroyed its cover, but it's fine. Suppression from Zentrisa. Suppression from Hooker. And we could just Shadow Fall as well, actually. Yeah, we'll Shadow Fall. And there were more enemies. A Riot Control Mech Mark 2 times 2 and our, our old favourite, the Advent Mech. Manageable. For sure. We still actually have to get the objective. But we've got seven turns on that, so I'm not too worried. That apprehension is just getting absolutely chunked. Sentry so taking the advent officer down. Absolutely wonderful. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Apprehension. My poor sweet apprehension. Uh, we'll come back to apprehension actually so we may as well just take this shot seeing as it's available to us no kill but that's fine apprehension actually could secure that I think yeah you could uh, okay so we've got a guaranteed takeout on the mech back there Hux is are blue screens so what kind of shots are we looking at from a hooks here not my favorite there uh, can we get that any higher 74 percent to beat 74 again okay fine so which one is it that we want to put that shot into I guess Sinatra might actually be able to well I don't think Sinatra kills this here The fact that he's out of she's out of armor okay we'll come back to that um not out of armor out of ammo they both began with a okay so then there is an argument for suppression there's more of an argument for suppression than there is for the 68 percent for sure um do kind of want to pick this loot up <laughs> I think 
given the choice between these two 74%, the one that could potentially secure a kill is the one to go for. Okay, nice. Um, what kind of work? This is going to do 4 to 5. This takes 4 to 5 to kill uh, at 87% chance. Yeah, we'll roll the shield bash. Nice. And then we just want our branch out of there. Get out. Uh, we'll hold Reed here just for now. Grab that loot. And I think we do mine this just in case it decides to make a run on Zentry, sir. Uh, but we'll suppress it in case it decides to shoot. Got a feeling we're going to see a melee attack from this thing, but who knows. Okay, nice. It did take a shot. Suppression. Achieved. Okay. We need a reload on hooks. We need a reload on Sinatra. We need a reload on Zentry, sir. Pacify has no shot from where they currently are. And could grapple here to take a shot? I think that's worth doing, actually, because we should be able to get a kill on this. We are a little help from Pacify. Uh, apprehension is probably going to be whom it is I want to uh, get work done on the objective. I think Apprehension is probably the one with the most hacking stat. Um, moving them out of harm's way in such a manner was probably a little bit overkill, but you know what? Look after those around you, eh? Okay, Hooks. This should be 74%. It is. Can you land it? Yes. That's 43 hack on Sinatra versus 50 on Apprehension. And uh, we are now chilling. So, yeah, I guess we just sort of... We'll let Apprehension take care of this then. We're not picking up further contacts near your position. Site is secure. Move on the target before the charges detonate. Ah! There was a few... ...scenarios there that we probably could have done better, but, um... ...pretty happy with that overall. I think we want to grab the mission lead. Or, although, now that I look at the current region income... Uh, no, we'll grab the mission lead. If we can. I mean, it makes no difference. We weren't getting him either. Nevertheless, success. Chosen did manage to take a few chunks out of us there. Um, Status confirmed. All hostiles are down in the but I think that went well enough. Honestly, it was pretty chill compared to what could have been. I think uh, the frost bomb at the start was probably the right decision as well. Didn't really see any other opportunities that it would have made a massive difference. So, 21, 3 or 4 shots, 2 kills for apprehension, not bad show all around. Tough, I think, was probably the most damage. Uh, Reed, oh, that that was, Reed was um, the big the big error on my part for sure with the activation of, um, what is it? Entry, break for entry, brace for, I don't know what it's called. Prepare for entry, I think. The grenade thing, anyway, yeah. Um, gonna need... Th there's there's genuine use cases for that. I'm just probably not taking enough advantage of the ability. Um, C'est la vie. Nevertheless, good showing by Reed there. 41 damage. One for one on the shots. Still landing three kills, too. Uh, hooks. Altogether making use of the blue screen rounds. And the flamethrower actually got a lot of work in on that mission as well. Uh, compared to what I was expecting, which was cool. Sinatra spent a lot of their time out in the woods, it felt like, but still securing three kills. Five for five shot accuracy is great. And a reasonable amount of damage dealt too. Uh, Zentresa, or Grenadier. So, actually being able to secure two kills as a sapper is pretty nice. Same about the shot accuracy. Um, pretty good use of suppression, though, I will say. And MVP for Pacify, our marksman. Uh, four kills, six of six shot accuracy, and... 50 damage dealt. Good show. 
Uh, let's see if we can find something that's got perfection. Symbol perfection. It's a good day to be XCOM, I suppose. It's not like there's anything else on the horizon that's deeply concerning, like attacks on the Avenger or assaulting chosen bases or the Doom counter being extremely close to completion. It's a good day to be XCOM. And that was actually a fun mission. It was nice to be in a... Um, like in a situation where we were able to get pacify some solid sight lines and stuff it's nice when the marksman can actually do good work same about that wound 13 days is pretty yikes um but actually we came out of that pretty good with only two people wounded and i think both of those came from the chosen as well um which i'll more than happy to take and a promotion for apprehension. That's the first promotion I think we've seen in a little while, actually. So let's see what we can see. They're up to Captain now. Uh, Untouchable is super nice. It's close Combat Specialist. Reaction shot to enemies moving or attacking within six tiles. That's pretty cool. Uh, Retribution's nice too. Bullpup Shreds Armor. Wow, this is a really good set of abilities, actually. It's, it's a difficult choice. Um... I think I do actually think that retribution is probably the way to go here. Um just I'm just looking at the way we've gone with apprehension's abilities thus far, so like extra mobility there. I kinda wanna spend the um AP on grabbing a point of armor looking at it um maybe wait because given the fact that apprehension is gifted they gain uh, personal ap at an increased rate that's what this combat intelligence score is actually all about uh, but yeah they've got lightning reflexes um the reinforced cabling so i guess it's kind of going a bit more melee heavy is reasonable this is a very strange sort of set of abilities now that i actually look at it but hey apprehension still proving to be fairly um what's the word i'm looking for effective so we'll take it and in terms of tiredness uh sinatra's ready to go again centris is ready to go again reed and hooker shouldn't take too long to recover either so three illyrium calls is super nice too oh, damn uh yeah we came out of that mission really well i think 15 intel bit of a delay on vigilance Although now Apprehension's terrified of stun lances, so that, that is uh, that is a bit of a swing slash roundabout. Um, good day though overall. That was a good mission. Thank you very much, as always, and we'll see what happens the next time. Take care until then. You know, I don't get a whole lot of call-ins these days, but if I did, something tells me if I were to poll our listeners. News of dead aliens would be high on the list of things they love to hear. So, with that in mind, it is my pleasure to inform you that the human resistance movement, led by the intrepid forces of XCOM, dealt another low blow today to the alien scum of Advent. <laughs>